mango tree today. <coughs> In the next three years, we'll have mango fruits. So that even if the government allocation that they're supposed to cook for the people in the prison, if they know that they have 10 mango trees in the prison, let them go and harvest it and give them. Fruits are food. So the tree that the, the, our um, sister organization has brought today is not only tree. They have brought tree and they have brought food. In my compound in Akure, we have about 25 stands of sour salt. We have eight stands of tangerine, big ones. We have three, three big mango trees. We have two orange trees. We have so many fruits. So food. So the trees that they are giving us today, they are giving us food. Nobody should go hungry in Nigeria. Nobody, 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 honestly, if we really take the principle of um, sowing and reaping. If you buy tomato uh, food, how many seeds are inside? Have we, have we counted? Uncountable. Uncountable. What is God telling us? When I take one tomato, plant the remaining. But what do we do? We take the tomato to, to the grinder and grind them. <laughs> Directly we are saying that we can, we can help ourselves. But you, you can see that God is, is a wise God. He has programmed everything. There is no fruit that you eat that doesn't have a seed. We want you to plant that seed back, but most of the time we don't do that. We just take the seed and we eat it. But I know that by the time they do their presentation, we have a rethink. We will begin to think differently now that every fruit that comes to my hand, I can replant. So before, don't let me take over their speaking. <laughs> Calling two people to their table. The first person is uh, Dr. Olu Shola, all the way from... Mike? We are still morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Olatoye. I said a lot of things. Like she said, I am uh, Dr. Johnson in this Um Here before us this morning, on behalf of our NGO, the name of NGO is Urban Tree Revival Initiative. Urban Tree Revival Initiative. That is the name of the NGO. I will tell us briefly, maybe the next five minutes, about the NGO. When we hear about NGO, NGO is non governmental organization. We are not a government-owned organization, but rather a non-governmental organization. And then, one of us will be thinking, how do we get sponsors? Through our activities, we have link within and outside Nigeria, and then we have people that are sponsoring our projects. I will just tell us, like I said, I don't want to take much of our time. In the next five minutes, I want to tell us what we do as organization. So that if interested you to join us, maybe at the end of the day, you can put down your name, you can put down your phone number there, you will be part and password of us. We are into advocacy. Before now, maybe when I was young, the only floor we heard about. It was the one that around 1980 But this year alone, for this state is a problem. Anambra is a problem. Later, I read on paper this morning when we were coming that there was a cup floating on water in Delta. Because of what? Flood. And what are the problems? It's because we are not maintaining our environment. And that is what we are into. And focus telling people what is right and let them do what is right. Get food. And this food has source of vitamin C, protein. Let me tell you, this the vitamin C you can get from a bad woman. 
is more richer than orange. But we go out to orange when it's time to see The time you can get from Agbaluma. And that was why during this season, I used to take it very, very well. I think I will go. If somebody is coming, go back to the go back to the logo. You go here, you there. You go to the logo. Yes or no? I will not practice it. If you don't practice it, you can do it. And to back to the just go and get just a knot of logo. Do it with that. Take it, chew it, wait, talk, talk, you call your other name. And many more, many, 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 many. My colleague here will tell us, we, we came with some samples and go to tell us the benefits we can get when we plant them and monitor their growth. What we are doing is to educate ourselves. The importance of trees, be the black man, be the woman, be the whoever we be, or about people. Maybe you go to market and you purchase, for example, we are going to buy. Ah, go buy two, go see. And when the bad is there, yeah, see there, yeah, you can preserve it and wash it. Go buy two more than that. Get a set of pure water. Go in the low, I will in the low. What's that a set of pure water anyway? And the one is there, and the other so I will go see where. And who is over here? And look at who is here. And you see where. And my, and my soil, and my wood. Before you know it, it will terminate. Why is it terminating? Don't pass it. Over there, over there. Why is still? Don't you go be here? You spend your spend that. And look at that. And transplant it. What is that? Over one. They can help us to do to transplant it. My belly. These are the things that we are going to do. Today, before we go back to our destination, what we are here to do today is just to let us know the benefits, the importance, and the role that a tree plays in our life. Thank you, because I don't want to take our time. Thank you, sir. I think we are seeing the morning. Yes. When you look, when you look at this organization, that is bringing the city to this place. We call it Urban Tree Revival. Urban Tree Revival, in English, they will say, give another word of phrase. Urban, you can say city. Tree, you can say plant. Revival, you can say awakening. It means that if everybody has awake, if everybody is not sleeping, there won't be any need for revival. I think you are getting my point. But due to our actions, as said by my brother, in some years back, all these places, I believe, it will be full of bushes, full of trees. But due to our activities, we have destroyed them. It means that we too we consider ourselves as enemy of the environment. I think you are getting my point. Yes, yes. And we are supposed to be, when you look at different regions of Nigeria, we in the south, we consider ourselves more knowledgeable than the people in the north. But when you look at our actions, our actions speak that we are not better than the people in the north. All people in the north are better than us. For example, when you look at their own settlement, one house, they may build it, build one house in maybe five plots of land. And you will see, don't go yellow, you will see trees in their compound. Then who is more knowledgeable in terms of the environment between we and them? You can see what is happening. Then what I want to say is that because we are sleeping, we are not bringing this thing to our doorstep so that we can be awake and put action for our responsibility or and be more responsible for this environment. Many of us, we are talking about the price of rice. A bag of rice is now 
like 30 something now. But have you? It's now like 30 something. And the only complaint is that the river, because it's a small good, most of the rice we are eating now is a small good rice. Even the one we are planting in Nigeria has been eroded by the flood, things like that. But we too, we can be a solution provider. And that is why we are targeting women. Because if you if something needs to be done, you need to pass it through women. For example, when you are doing this um, extension, you pass your channel must be through women because they are the one that can determine if that thing is staying or not. If a father brings something home, if the woman did, does not want it, he will not, he, that thing will not survive. But that is why we are targeting you, because we know that you are agent of change. That, and that change is positive change. And that is why we are here this morning. We have a lot of species to distribute this morning. And some people, they have donated their money. You too. We are not saying that you should donate money, but you can donate something that is very tangible, which is care. You can care for these plants. For example, that is why we have some plants. We said that urban or city trees awakening or revival. That is why we are bringing some species that are community friendly, in the sense that their tree is not so, they are in, in form of shrubs. Their size might not be time, more than times two of me if you are talking of the eyes. And their guts, which is their, uh, how wide they are, they might not be more than this bulk. It means that it can accommodate, you can accommodate them within your environment. Even if it happens that you are flooded everywhere, because many of us, we don't want to be slashing weeds, we don't want to be slashing any grasses, we, we make sure that we, we concrete everywhere. You too, you can still plant it. I do tell some people that you don't need to open up the ground before you plant things. That even in your house, if you don't want to open anything, you can have some tires. Instead of them causing nuisance in the community, in the environment, you can have some tires, the tires, the vehicle tires. You can have them, put sand in them. You can plant tomato, you can plant pepper, you can plant various things. But this one, this tree that we are bringing now, you need to open some ground. And as said by my other, we have some species, many of us, you no ube, I don't know, maybe you know it. Ube, ube is yeah. that publish yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Some people and uh, some evils among us we know it better. They used to roast it with corn. We have it. We have uh, anuna muricata, which you call sasa. My brother was telling me today that a a, a fruit of sasa. It now goes for something like 2,000, 2,000 naira. It means that apart from eating it, benefiting your body, you too, you can be what? You can earn some income. Yes. You can earn some income from it. We have the salsa, we have the guava. We have the guava, and the one we bring now is the jumbo tile, white. They are very big. Mm -hmm. The flesh is a fleshy type. When you eat it, you too, you will enjoy it. You will know why you, you need to plant it. Then we have some local apple. That local apple is very common in urban settings. I believe this area is on uh, urban settings. I think we have a um, cashew as well. Nut. And that cashew nut, it's very good to cure prostate uh, cancer and even for infertility in men. It's very good. We are coming this morning to let you know that these plants, this tree, they are very beneficial to you and I. And I want you to accept it and to take it the way they are. And after three years, you will see them fruiting. 
you too, you will enjoy them. I pray that God will help us. Because if you are using cutlass, bring the cutlass. If you are using cutlass to dip, you might accidentally meet the stove. And it may injure your hands. Suppose you are giving like 10 holes, things like that. But instead of that, you make use of this. What is the name of India? You make use of this. And what I was explaining is instead of planting directly, you can use that this time. Let's say in the top of a square form, then you can use it by the side. You use another one, you use another one, you use another one. So that, and at the time when you dig it, you want to, maybe you are digging two feet, you realize that that one, even the size is not up to a foot. What you can do is that you can raise that point, put some soil, so that it will come break. Before you plant it, you can water it. So that by the time when you open this item, everything will not happen. You water it. Then when you water it, you can see it together. You can see it together. So that everything will become a Entrepreneur's Channel TV, Africa's first gender-based television service. Yes, at Entrepreneur's Channel TV, our primary responsibility is promoting women entrepreneurs in West African countries. We also support women's well-being, share women's knowledge on a variety of subjects and topics, passions and opinions. Entrepreneur's Channel TV is on Intel Sat 20. Our satellite coverage is within Africa, Europe, Middle East, Asia, North and South America. Opportunities abound for women-owned micro to small businesses, corporate bodies and organizations and also government parastatas. For inquiries and advert placements, contact 0705-5053-843. Entrepreneur's Channel TV. Rewriting Africa's story through enterprise immersion. Good day and welcome to ECTV, Africa's first gender-based television service. I am Jusito Olatoe and we are here live at the Urban Tree Revival. Yes, the Urban Tree Revival Initiative. With me, I have one of the organizers. Please, can you introduce yourself? I'm Shoji Peade doing Tai Lulu, a 400-level student of University of Ibadan. Wow. Okay, so you're one of the organizers. What do you see about the turn-up of today's event? Okay, I'm really impressed with the turn-up. I like the fact that women are present here and they are ready to take action so this is really impressive thank you so do you feel that it's very important for women in particular to be involved in a program like this yes yes I believe so because women are the backbones of the home is what you give your husband that you take is what you give your children that you will take so women being here is an encouragement because it gives them a sustainable view of the future of tomorrow thank you so I know that some people that are watching and you know they have not had the opportunity to attend the program.
program like this, what kind of advice will you give them? Okay, I advise that everyone plants a tree. Plants a tree. Tree is life. Tree is food. Tree is everything. If you can solve the problem of food, you can solve almost any problem. Thank you. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? My name is Habide Matiba. I'm a farmer, so that is what I do. Okay, so what kind of aspect of farming are you into? I'm a crop farming. So. What type of crops? Yes, actually, right now I'm into uh, maize and cassava, but planning to expand to migrate to stevia. Okay, okay. So, Ma, did you believe that more women should be involved in a program like this, and why? Yes, I'm a woman, and I'm interested in farming. So even people were saying, ah, as a woman, can you enter the bush and the other? So if I can do it, so I'm encouraging other women to do it. And even um, something like this, like a planting of tree that we, we came here to do today now, I'm encouraging women to also go into something like this because all the trees we are talking about, they are medicinal. We can take them as a tea that is working for our health. You know, this, this time around, we take a lot of junk foods. So we have cancer everywhere. People, with, most especially women, they say they have cancer, 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 cancer of the breast. So all these uh, trees we are planting, they are medicinal. Most of them are working against cancer. So I will, I will implore women to go into trees planting. Thank you very much, Ma, can you introduce yourself? I'm Mrs. Oji Esther. I'm from Ibadan. Okay. So, Ma, how did you see this program today? It is so interesting. In fact, I'm very happy. I'm very fortunate to be among the participants. Okay. So, what are the benefits that the organization has said they will give you for attending the program today? Uh, the organization promised us that we'll be going home with seedlings of tree to plant, and I'm so happy for that. Okay. So what advice will you give to some women who were not able to attend this program? What advice will you give to them concerning agriculture? I want to encourage all women to be part of this program. All women should be part of this program because as women, we give our children food every day. So this one will benefit us and also as a source of income to us as women. It is a very good program. Thank you so much, Ma. Ma, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? All right. My name is Yetunde Akejo. Um, I, I run a garden where we sell seedlings, where we encourage children and teenagers to come around. And I'm also a graduate of agriculture. I did my master's in forestry. So I'm really, really interested in reviving the urban trees. And in fact, my, my, my project is on urban trees. So it's what I really appreciate to be part of. Okay. Well, looking around, I can see that there are a number of women at this program. Do you believe that more women, especially young girls should be involved in a program like this? In fact, when you want people to act, you give it to women. When you want the noise, allow the men. We do the things. Men make the noise. So it's better for us to engage the women and even me, I'm, I'm a teenager person, so I will engage the girls to be part of this and to, to develop, to revive the urban trees. Okay. What have you learned today? What lesson are you taking away from this program? Well, I've learned a lot because we have a, actually have the challenges of um, roots that is affecting the houses. Where that's most the basic reason why people run away from planting trees around. But now we have a solution to it. We have. Um, I learned about the the tiles, the tiles, broken okay. tiles to cover the the edges of the plant before you plant it. Then that's a very very solution that I've actually been looking for. So you sound so excited me. and I'm, I'm so, so happy. I'm so excited. I hope other people can watch our videos as well and learn from this program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. With me, I have one of the members of the organizing team of the Urban Tree Revival Initiative. Sir, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? My name is Majolagbe Michael. I'm the nursery manager for the NGO. Uh, urban tree revival then um, 
the reason why we include most women is just because they are changer in the environment. Mm -hmm. If you want anything change, good change, I mean, consult women. Because if you want them to, if you want the plants to survive, it is their contribution. And if you exclude them, even if you bring the plant home by the man, if you bring it home, if they are not in support, I believe that plant will not survive. And that is why we want them, we, we do it in a, a catch them young. Though they are not young, but we want to catch their awareness so that they can contribute meaningfully to the environment. Most of the problem we are having, we are facing now in terms of the climate is anthropogenic. That is, it is human-induced factors. We are the one causing it. For example, like this environment where we are, we call it urban area. In some years back, like 100 years, I believe this environment is green in nature. We have a lot of trees, but bringing home to this place is not a problem. But we are now coming in such a way to create an awakening so that people can wake up to their responsibility. Even in their houses where they have cemented every floor, they, took, they can have some plants. That is why we carefully selected some plants that can do well even with the building, that the root system or the branch system will not affect the building, the building structure. And I've said many things about how to plant in such a way that the the roots will not affect the plant, and uh, the, the, will not affect the structure, I mean. Oh, yes. What I said is that when you create, when you dig a hole, you can dig, you can dig a hole in a four-corner form, then by the side of those uh, corner, you can put ties. Then, when you put ties, ties will help to prevent the uh, protruding or uh, enlarging of the root system, whereby it, instead of going laterally, it will be going down. And as a result of that, it will not affect the structure. Okay. Yes, I've already spoken with a few participants and they've shown their excitement for a program like this. Do you have more plans for, you know, especially young people and young girls in future? Uh, yes, we have more plans for more people as well as students because if we are able to catch their awareness on time they too they will be an agent of change to the environment and uh, in this part of the world most of the problem we are having now is climate change. This climate change has caused a lot of damages to our environment, but we too, we can solve the problem by taking the solution by our hands. So we can solve the food hunger in Nigeria, especially one step at a time. Thank you so much for what you do, sir.